Continue to follow that breaking news. A tragic story out of Franklin this morning. A mother and young child die after being hit by a semi on the interstate. News Channel 5's Cuthbert Langley has been on this story all morning long. And what is the latest? They've opened the roadway behind you, I guess, at this point, haven't they, Cuthbert? Steve, yes, they opened it within the last 15 minutes or so. So we're now up on the overpass, kind of giving you the bird's eye view of what it looks like. Let me step out and show you. This is Interstate 65 right here in Franklin at exit 65. You can see barely anybody's on the road right now. That is good news because it is so icy. We have been down there since 4 or 3.30 rather this morning, and I can tell you it's like an ice rink down there. Do not travel on these interstates. What we know right now about this tragic accident this morning is that a mother and a son saw a car hit some black ice and then flipped over. They went out and tried to help those people in that SUV, and turns out they unfortunately became the victims. If you can imagine this, a semi truck driving down the interstate struck and killed the young son and his mother. They were pronounced dead early this morning, just simply trying to help. And this turned into an awful tragedy and an important reminder of why it's so important not to be driving on the roadways this morning. There were five people in that SUV that originally flipped over. Two of them had to be taken to a hospital in critical condition. So right now, 65 just opened up within the last 10, 15 minutes or so. Truck drivers, even they are being very slow. They are being very cautious, which you need to do if you're traveling today. We'll continue to closely follow this story throughout the morning. But for now, we're live here in Franklin. I'm Cuthbert Langley, News Channel 5 HD. All right, Cuthbert, very sad story indeed. While areas around Nashville were getting the ice, communities along the Tennessee-Kentucky line had more snow. News Channel 5's Amy Watson is live up there for us at Fort Campbell Boulevard in Hopkinsville and lots of snow where you are, Amy. Yeah, look at it. Can you believe this? Look at all that. This is where it's been pushed off the uh, this parking lot here by a plow and over to the side. It's about half my size, actually. It's so tall. You're looking at Fort Campbell Boulevard, the main business thoroughfare through uh, Hopkinsville, and traffic's moving pretty good. Look at that. I mean, I think it's moving faster here than it is where you are, Steve. And they're going about 35 miles per hour, which is speed limit on this road. So road crews have been able to make some really good progress today in terms of getting the snow and then down to that layer of ice that we got yesterday early morning, all that sleet and ice that we're making progress there as always those secondary roads are just really tough to get around and even folks on the boulevard here who try to cut get where they're going we're watching them fishtail and we're watching them a couple of people get stuck and then eventually get out but there are places here that are still impassable and now not only the the snow but we have this cold it's one degree here so we have a double whammy of just brutal temperatures so people need to keep that in mind steve when they even think about venturing out today yeah good advice all right stay indoors if at all possible amy up in hopkinsville thank you nashville did see more ice as amy was pointing out more so than snow making our road conditions really tough news channel 5's nick barris is at the korean veterans bridge over in east nashville by lp field and still a mess over there i'm sure where you are Good morning, Steve. Yeah, things are getting a little bit better now in just the past hour or so. We can show you the Memorial Bridge and really uh, the traffic sparse, as you would expect. A lot of people making the right call and staying home, but there's a guy on a bicycle. How about that? And he's making it a OK. I will say that the road has been worked on. The crews have done a terrific job. It's now more or less a slushy mess. We're seeing fewer cars slide along here. It's more on the less mainly traveled roads where we're creating the problems where you have more of the ice right underneath some of the snow as you see there. Now, a lot of folks may be getting up this morning having trouble getting out of their driveways if they decide to make their way out. I'm going to give you a tip this morning. It's kind of what I got out of the driveway with for me. If you've got a vehicle and it's stuck, get some kitty litter. Take it, throw it underneath the tires. That'll help provide some traction, get you out of whatever rut you may get stuck in. I'm told you can also use the ash from your fireplace if you have one of those, but that will help provide traction. I've seen a lot of folks on the side of roads using that gravel and the like, but the best plan is if you don't really need to get out, as we've been saying all morning, don't do it. If you do, however, with the sun coming up now, some of the main roads are softening up. And they're making it, as you'll see, this truck coming by without much problem at all, going right over the bridge. We're not seeing the vehicle skid and slide that we did earlier. So, Steve, things are improving. That's a little bit of good news, at least for the morning hours right now. And we'll send it back to you live in the studio. Yeah, hopefully this sun is going to melt some of that ice off of the bridges and overpasses. Mm -hmm. Nick, thanks so much. We appreciate that. Let's go ahead and check our traffic once again. Here's Dave Nichols.
Sky 5 HD continuing to fly in from the west after showing us some of the blockages on 40 eastbound out around Pegram, passing through the Bellevue area, headed back in toward downtown Nashville. And you can see traffic is sparse. The roads continue to be iced over. Uh, area you can see some has thicker ice than others, but that's not clean pavement, folks. That's ice with occasional clear patches, and that's the situation. See some 18 wheelers on the shoulders here and there. Other motorists who've sort of given up and pulled off the road. I guess they're waiting for spring. It's uh, it's just a mess out there. We go to the TDOT Smartway cameras right now, and they show us uh, the uh, Metro Police cars that are still blocking the ramp. Northbound 65 here near the Adventure Science Center coming up into the South Loop and I-40. They're allowing traffic to go eastbound towards 2nd and 4th Avenue, but they continue to have this big ramp blocked off, so you can't go westbound toward most of the downtown area uh, exit ramps because it's just so iced over there. Another TDOT Smartway camera shot uh, takes us to I-24 at Harding Place. That's an icicle in the uh, hanging off the camera there, partially blocking our view. We're actually seeing some sunshine. Boy, wouldn't that be nice? And uh, traffic is moving very slowly, light traffic volume there on I-24. So we remind you that MTA and RTA, by the way, uh, all canceled out, not running buses uh, today. MTA says till further notice, an indication of just how treacherous it is. And Leland and Steve and I are all getting a request from folks, uh, email, Facebook, Twitter, wanting to know, is this road open? Is that road open. The fact of the matter is if a road open or not may not be passable just because there's nobody out there blocking it off and working a detour doesn't mean it's open. So please, if you can stay off the roads, do so. That also makes it easier for the work crews to salt and scrape the roadways. Crash